this video shows solutions to mix examples in radian measure. Learn them here in Mathematics of Engineering. Let's start with radian and degrees conversion. If we convert 280 degrees into radians in terms of pi, we use the conversion that 1 pi is equal to 180 degrees. By placing pi over 180, we cancel out degrees, leaving radians as 14 over 9 pi. Say we are to convert 320 degrees into radians. Just the same, we multiply the given by the conversion, which is pi over 180, to get 16 ninths pi radians. Take the other way around with radians converted to degrees. If we have 4 fifth of pi, multiply the conversion where we use the reciprocal 180 degrees over pi, and this cancels out pi radians leaving the answer 144 degrees. Similarly, convert 5 eighths pi into degrees by multiplying 180 over pi, giving 112.5 degrees. For the first problem, given the figure, the problem states that the two arcs are concentric, which means their centers are the same point O. Also given in the problem is the perimeter of points A, B, C, D, which is 22. First, we are to determine the central angle AOB, which is the same as COD. And then we figure out the area bounded by the points A, B, C, and D. With a given length of OB as 2 and BD as 6, we can reflect the length of AC also as 6. The perimeter comprises of arc AB plus 6 with arc CD plus 6. This is then 22 as equal to AB plus CD plus 12, where the arcs AB and CD are taken as 10. Now we use the fact that they are concentric circles, meaning they have the same center and the sectors shown have the same central angle. Using the equation of arc as equal to the radius times the central angle, we can say that arc AB is 2 theta, and also arc CD is 8 theta. Plug these two arc equivalents into the perimeter equation and get 2 theta plus 8 theta is equal to 10. This is simplified as 10 theta is equal to 10, where we solve theta, the central angle, as 1 radian. This is angle AOB. Next is to find the area bounded by the points ABCD. We apply sectors for this case, where we know sectors are solved using ratio and proportion between the areas and central angles of the sector and the circle. Starting with the bigger sector CD, we have the area of sector CD is to 1 radian, as the area of the whole circle, which is pi r squared, taken as 8 squared over the full revolution of 2 pi. We can cancel pi and have the area of sector CD as 32 square cm. For sector AB, do the same ratio and proportionality where we use area of AB is to 1 as pi 2 squared is to 2 pi. Then the area of CD comes out as 2. Thus, the bounded area is just the difference of the two sectors, that is 32 less 2, giving 30 square centimeters. What if there are value changes? With the same configuration of the sectors, the perimeter has been increased to 32. 
the procedure is similar. Take the perimeter, but this time equate it with the 32, giving 32 is equal to AB plus CD plus 12. So the equation now turns as AB plus CD is equal to 20. Since we have not changed the radii, the concentric circles would provide the same arc equations of AB of 2 theta and CD of 8 theta. Combine the two equations of arcs and perimeter. To have 2 theta plus 8 theta is 20. Simplified as 10 theta as 20. Where theta is solved as 2 radians. Knowing the central angle, we can solve for the sectors by ratio and proportion. So starting with sector CD, its area is to 2 radians as the circle has an area of pi 8 squared over 2 pi. Sector CD is then solved as 64 square cm. For sector AB, we have the area of sector AB is to 2 radians as the area of the circle is pi times 2 squared over full revolution of 2 pi. Thus, the area of sector CD is 4 cm squared. Again, subtract the two sectors to get the bounded area. That is 64 less 4, which is 60 square centimeters. In case the perimeter is changed into 27 cm, but still with the same configuration. P is then 27 as equal to AB plus CD plus 12, where AB plus CD is simplified as 15. The arcs AB and CD using S as R theta will still be the same. We have AB as 2 theta and CD as 8 theta. Converge these equations together and have 2 theta plus 8 theta as 15. So 10 theta is 15, and theta is 1.5 radians. Now determine the sector using ratio and proportion. For the area of sector CD, we have area of CD is to 1.5, as pi times 8 squared is to 2 pi. Cancel out pi's and get the area of sector CD as 48 square cm. The smaller sector is also solved as area of sector AB is to 1.5 radians as pi times 2 squared is to 2 pi, giving the area of sector CD as 3 square centimeters. The area bounded by ABCD is then the difference of the two areas, 48 and 3, giving 45 square cm. Problem 2 requires the distance of the chord of length 8 cm from the center of a circle of radius 5. If we draw a chord in a circle and place a dimension of 8 cm, then draw another line from the center to this chord, the line will bisect the chord, creating a right triangle. The distance h is then solved using Pythagorean theorem, stating that h is the square root of the square of the radius 5 minus the square of half of the chord 4, giving h as 3 centimeters. Say the chord length is 16 centimeters and the radius is 10 cm. The same concept applies that the distance can be solved by drawing a perpendicular line to the chord from the center. And using Pythagorean theorem, h is taken as the root of 10 squared minus 8 squared, giving 6 centimeters. Another variation of the problem has a chord length of 24 centimeters and radius of 15. Just the same, take half of the chord, which is 12, and fill the Pythagorean equation, root of 15 squared less 12 squared, where h is solved as 9 cm. Next is a problem of velocity. It states, determine the linear velocity in centimeters per second of a point rotating at 6 rpm at a distance of 12 centimeters from the center of a rotating path. 
linear velocities related to angular velocity with the equation v is r times omega. With radius of 12 and omega of 6 rpm given, we can directly substitute these values into the equation and get 12 cm times 6 revolutions per minute. However, take note that it is required that linear velocity should be in centimeters per second. Thus, we need to convert units by multiplying one revolution is to 2 pi radians and one minute is to 60 seconds. Note that we cancel revolutions and minutes. Simplify the coefficients and get 12 fifth pi or 7.5398 centimeters per second. This time we use 4 rpm with 15 centimeter radius. Plug these given parameters into the equation and multiply the conversion factor where revolutions and minutes cancel out again, leaving the linear velocity v as 2 pi or that is 6.2832 cm per second. Another pair of values for this problem consists of 8 rpm and 10 cm radius. Directly substitute these values into the formula and convert the units to cancel out revolutions and minutes, thereby having 8 thirds pi or 8.3776 centimeters per second. Problem 4 is simpler, as we are just to convert the angular velocity given in RPM into radians per second. With 15 RPM, we multiply the conversion factor of 2 pi radians is to 1 revolution and 1 minute is to 60 seconds. Cancel out revolutions and minutes and simplify the coefficients to get half of pi or 1.5708 radians per second. If we are to convert 12 rpm, multiply the same conversion factor and get 2 fifth of pi or 1.2566 radians per second. What if we are to convert 10 rpm? That is 10 rpm times the conversion factor of 2 pi over 60 to have a third of pi or 1.0472 radians per second. The fifth problem requires the area of the segment given the length of chord AB and radius R. For the first combination, chord AB is 16 cm and radius is 10. First, determine the central angle, and from the bisection of the chord, we can look for theta over 2. Half of the chord is 8, and the radius is 10. So using sine function, we have sine of half of theta is 8 over 10, where half of theta is solved as 53.13 degrees or 0 0.9273 radians. Say we are to use degrees, theta is then 106.26. With the central angle already figured out, we can take the area of the sector, again through ratio and proportion, that is, area of sector AB is to 106.26 degrees as area of the circle pi times 10 squared is to 360 degrees. The area of sector AB is computed as 92.7293. From the sector, we are to deduct the area of the triangle using half of base times height. But then, we have not solved for the height yet. So using the triangle again with lengths of 8 and 10, use Pythagorean theorem to determine h. h is then the root of 10 squared minus 8 squared giving 6 cm. Hence, the area of the triangle is half of the base, which is 16, times the height, which is 6, and this results to 48 square cm. We can then solve for the area of the segment by subtracting the area of the triangle from the sector, that is 92.7293 less 48, 
giving 44.7293 square centimeters. If for the same configuration, the cord length is 8 cm and the radius of the circle is 5 cm. By using the right triangle after bisecting the cord, we get central angle theta using sine function and theta would still be 106.26 degrees. With the smaller circle, areas will be different. Start with the area of the sector AB from 106.26 times pi with 5 squared over 360, resulting to 23.1823 square cm. The area of the triangle will be solved after figuring out the value for h, which is solved through Pythagorean theorem. That is the root of 5 squared minus 4 squared, giving 3 cm. Hence, the triangle's area is computed as half of 8 by 3, which results to 12 square centimeters. So the area of segment AB is 23.1823 less 12 which is 11.1823 square centimeters. The combination of arc length of 24 and radius of 15 cm for the same configuration will still be solved similarly where we start to look for the central angle. By setting the chord, we get a right triangle where the sine of half of theta is 12 over 15, giving the same central angle of 106.26 degrees. The area of the sector is taken through ratio and proportion with 106.26 times pi with 15 squared all over 360, giving the sector's area of 208.6410 square centimeters. For the area of the triangle, the height would also be required but it is only through using Pythagorean theorem. With the root of 15 squared minus 12 squared, h is computed as 9 cm. The area of the triangle is then half of the chord which is 24 cm with the height which we just solved as 9. The area of the triangle turns as 108 square cm. The segment is then 208.6410 minus 108, giving 100.641 square centimeters.